Boogeyman Ben. Hey everyone, it's Man Ben. Hope everyone's doing well and everyone had a great day. Uh, today's video is going to be another uh, DVD uh, movie review. Um, this is a movie that I actually picked up almost a year ago. And I completely forgot about it being in my collection. And I just was going through and looking for films to watch one night. And I happened upon this one. I'm like, I haven't watched this movie. And it was a movie that I had just didn't know anything about um it just had a tremendous there, cast a lot um, of character actors that i'm a big fan of and just really wanted to uh check this film out and i got it for a really decent price at rasputin's which i talk about a lot um the movie i'm talking about is sushi girl what i'm going to talk and, about is the plot uh casting crew um and then also give my thoughts on the film and i hope everyone looks forward to this please stay tuned Fish has spent six years in jail, six years alone, six years keeping his mouth shut about the robbery, about the other men involved. The night he is released, the four men he protected will celebrate his freedom with a congratulatory dinner. The meal is a lavish array of sushi served off the naked body of a beautiful young woman. The sushi girl seems catatonic, trained to ignore everything in the room, even if things become dangerous. Sure enough, the four unwieldy thieves can't help but open old wounds in an attempt to find their missing loot. You have Tony Todd as Duke, Noah Hathaway as Fish, James Duvall as Francis, Andy McKenzie as Max, Mark Hamill as Crow, Courtney Palm as Sushi Girl, Shin Ichi Shiba as the Sushi Chef. You have David Detz Malshin as Nelson, Jeff Fahey as Morris, Michael Bean as Mike, and Danny Trejo as Shlomo. The movie was written by Dustin Pfaff and Kern Saxton, and the movie was directed by Kern Saxton. So like I said, um, I picked Sushi Girl up on a whim. It was just because I, I was a fan of, of almost everyone in this cast. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought the premise sounded a little bit interesting. I didn't know a lot about it, though. I pretty much picked it up for the cast because I'm a huge fan of Tony Todd, huge fan of Jeff Fahey. Uh, big fan of Mark Hamill, of course. He's Luke Skywalker. Um, but I, also I was also surprised to see Noah Hathaway, who I remember from The NeverEnding Story when I was a kid. So it was just, you know, see some of these character actors that I had always uh, looked up to and admired. I uh, just wanted to see what this whole story about. And the Mystery Man was just a good movie. It's more of a crime thriller than a horror film, but it does have uh, horror elements, and that's why I felt like it felt fit good in with my channel here. But all of the performances in this were fantastic. I love Tony Todd. I've been a fan of him since I saw the first Candyman. Um, just love the guy. I think he has tremendous presence. Um, I thought uh, Noah Hathaway was fantastic in this film. Um, like I said, I haven't seen him in a lot since the 80s when he was a kid actor. I know he's in a band now. Um, and we're pretty close to the same age. Um, but I remember him from a trade from A NeverEnding Story, primarily in the original Troll movie. But yeah, he was fantastic in this. Um, also, of course, Mark Hamill was Luke Skywalker. Very different performance for him in this, and he was fantastic. Uh, he sounded, in the couple scenes, he sounded like he was doing a version of his Joker voice from the Batman animated series, which I thought was great. Um, also, you know, great to see Danny Trejo and Michael Bean and Jeff Fahey, of course, who I'm a huge fan of all three of those guys. Um, just, it was just an amazing movie, and I just, I was hooked because it's kind of like a who not a who done it but it was kind of like there's a mystery involved in it where the guys are trying to find out what happened to their money and they think uh, fish is hiding it from them and so they're kind of putting him through the ringer uh, trying to get information out of him and just finding out you know how this whole thing and how the sushi girl how, uh, plays into all of it and i have to say courtney palm who plays the sushi girl is absolutely beautiful um i knew i had recognized her she was in the movie uh, silent night um which came out a couple years back as well and um she did a fantastic job in this, and she's very easy on the eyes. She's absolutely beautiful, stunning woman. 
and uh, the direction on this is great. The story was sharp. Um, I was hooked. I thought all the performances were fantastic, and I am so happy I own this movie, and it's in my collection. To give uh, Sushi Girl a rating on my normal scale of 1 out of 10, I would give it a 10 easily. Excellent, excellent film. Highly entertaining, a terrific cast, wonderful acting, wonderful script, wonderful direction. Easily recommend if you're a fan of any of these genre vets. Uh, just a terrific film, and a, it was just a shock. I was surprised at how good this film was. Um, so that's going to be my review of Sushi Girl. And again, thanks so much for watching, and I hope uh, everyone's doing well. And please stay tuned for some more videos coming from me very soon. Hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Take it easy. Peace.